Just quickly, before we begin, here's a preview of what to expect from this video. Enjoy. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sumplug YouTube channel. My name is Sam and today I'm going to show you how to remove nasty scratches and scuffs from interior plastic trim on your car. Originally I had a different video planned for today but as you can probably see in here the UK weather put a stop to that. In this video however I'm going to be focusing on the transparent plastic that covers the instrument cluster of my car. However the techniques I'm going to show you for scratch removal will work on any other similar plastic trim. Recently, Chris Fix uploaded a brilliant video where he shows you how to super clean the interior of your car. I'd highly recommend that video. In it, there's a section where he specifically talks about how to clean your instrument cluster without causing any scratches. But this got me thinking, what if you already had scratches on your instrument cluster? Well, if this is the case for you, then you've come to the right place. Here, we've got my 15 year old BMW E46. And given its age and mileage, I'd say the interior is in pretty great condition. However, it hasn't always been that way. This is a picture of what the gauge cluster looked like when I first got the car. As you can see, it's covered in scratches and it used to drive me absolutely insane. However, this is what the gauge cluster looks like now. All the scratches are completely gone. And the best part was this only took a couple of hours and didn't cost very much money at all. So if you want to see results like this on your own car, stay tuned. Let's get started. I've got a different instrument cluster here that's almost exactly the same as the one that's in my car. I'm just going to be using this one to demonstrate with because it makes it easier for me to film and lets me get inside away from the rain noise. It will also make it slightly easier to remove the scratches if you can take the piece of trim out of your car. So if you can do this, I'd recommend it. However, if you don't want to do this, it's still completely possible to remove the scratches while the trim is in the car. This is what I did the first time around when I restored my instrument cluster. As you can see, the cluster I've got here isn't actually in that bad condition. There's just some light swirl marks on it. I think it's time to change that. I want some more serious scratches so that I can properly show you guys how to remove them. Maybe someone cleaned this with the dirty dry microfiber cloth. Or they decided to put their keys up on the dash. Warning, what you're about to see might be disturbing to some people. We've got some visible scratches, but I think we can take this one step further. Now that I've managed to make detailers all around the world cry, we've got some proper scratches that we can repair. Just look at these, they're so deep that I can catch my nail on them. A lot of videos I've seen covering this topic only show light scratches being removed, but these are far from that. Let's get on with fixing them. Here's a list of the things that you're going to need to do this. First up, we've got some clean microfiber cloths. You need to make sure these are clean, otherwise you could cause further scratching. You'll also want some clean 100% cotton cloths. I just bought some cheap 100% cotton tea towels. Again, the key thing is that they're clean. You'll want some masking tape. The key ingredient is Meguiar's plastic polish. This comes under a number of names. The one I've got here is Meguiar's Plast RX, but depending on where you live, it might be called something different. 
I want to make it clear this video is not sponsored by Meguiar's, although you've probably guessed that from the fact that I have 10 subscribers. Hey, we're actually at 11 now. This is just the best stuff out there that I've found for removing scratches from plastic. Finally, you'll want some water, ideally in an accurately labelled spray bottle. I'd also recommend having a bright torch as this can be used to easily find any fine scratches that you might miss if you didn't have it. As you can see here, it works great for this. To start with, use one of your clean microfiber cloths and your water to gently clean the plastic and remove any surface contaminants. You'll only need very light pressure here. You can check out Chris Fix's video that I mentioned earlier if you want more details. Once this is done, use your masking tape to mask off any areas of the interior that you don't want to get plastic polish. Trust me, you don't want to slack on this step. For me, it was just the two gaps where these buttons are. I just covered the buttons in masking tape to be on the safe side. Now that your piece of trim is clean and masked, it's time to remove those scratches. Take your 100% cotton cloth, make sure it's completely clean and free of anything that might cause further damage, and apply a generous amount of Meguiar's plastic polish. Now, choose the scratch area that you want to start with. In this case, we're going to use this scratched area here. Spread the polish around the area and begin to rub with medium pressure. You can move in horizontal, vertical or circular motions, whatever works for you. Once you've started, it's just a matter of patience. The deeper the scratches are, the longer this will take. But just keep going, trust me, they will start to fade. If your cloth starts to dry out, just apply some more polish. Every now and then I wiped off the polish with a clean, damp microfiber cloth. This let me monitor my progress and as you can see here, the scratch will begin to fade. The whole process here for removing this scratched area took about 30 minutes of polishing, but it was totally worth it. This looks great and for less severe damage, it will take much less time. Next, it's time to get a new piece of cloth and repeat this process for all of the damaged areas on your interior. For this instrument cluster, it took about two hours to completely remove all of the heavily damaged areas. Here you can see three of the worst affected areas. The first clips are before I started polishing, the second clips are after 10 to 15 minutes of polishing, and the third clips are after a further 10 to 15 minutes of polishing. As you can see, this method works brilliantly. Once you're done with removing the severe damage, give the whole piece of trim a light polish to remove any remaining surface scratches. Once this is done, give the whole piece a final wipe down with a clean damp microfiber cloth and remove the masking tape. This is looking absolutely amazing. It looks like a brand new part and there's absolutely no indication of the damage that we inflicted earlier. I genuinely cannot get across how great this looks on camera. If you do try this yourself, I promise you won't be disappointed with the results. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful and enjoyed it. If you followed along, be sure to let me know how you got on down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.